Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius, and welcome back to yet another episode of Kerbal Space Program. So this is going to be a somewhat short episode today, I think, because I just got home and it's like 11.30pm. Mr. Swiggles will not appreciate me rendering a video and uploading tonight. He's probably gonna kill me. So, we're gonna have a shorter episode today, I think, possibly. We have another one of our Odyssey probes, except we have renamed it... Eve Orbiter, because we're going to Eve. We have not yet landed a Kerbal, a Kerbal on Eve, however, and or Eve's moon, Gilly, but we're going to send a probe first and we're going to check out Eve, and soon, soon we will be sending manned flights. So I'm just about ready to go, let's see, we need to go another 10 minutes into the future, and then after that we can start our burn, and then I shall talk through the burn, as is usual. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is this is a decent speed. Oh, going going to Seoul. It's it's quite close actually. It's quite close, but well, uh, forty five minutes, I guess. It's close for an American, not not close for Korean people. If you ask Korean people if it's close or not, they'll say it's absolutely not close whatsoever. But for me, it's it's pretty close. But nonetheless, it's still tiring. It's a bunch of time on trains, stuff like that. I I have no clue what to talk about for this episode since I've been gone all day and doing chores and stuff. But, uh, let's see. We have officially reached 2,000 subscribers. Huzzah. Fun times. Yes, indeed, we will be doing a scary horror thriller scare something i don't i don't know let's play but first i would really like to have confirmation from the maker of slenderman or some other game that it's okay for me to make a recording of their game and monetize it on youtube i would i would not like to infringe upon anyone's copyright stuffins as you guys may know the developers of kerbal space program give everyone who owns the game full rights to monetize youtube videos and that is precisely why, along with the fact that it's an awesome game, that I do this Let's Play. So I'm waiting to hear back from the original developer of Slenderman the Eight Pages, and as soon as he gets back to me and says, yes, it's no problem, and you guys can encourage him to do so by going there and contacting him on his website, Parsec Studios or something like that. But yes, you can encourage him to give me the rights to monetize YouTube stuffins in... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, crap, crap. I'm getting so far off. Guys, why didn't you tell me that was happening? Guys. Guys. Guys, that totally, like, screwed me up. You should have told me. Oh man. I hope, I hope that didn't screw up everything. That, that would not be good at all. Well, since this is going to take a while, let's speed up time just a little bit. Oh, crap. Sweet mother of God, this this is not good. Uh, uh, this is so hard. Oh, the SAS does nothing. It's okay, if we get down, like, close enough to it, it'll be fine. As long as that last burn didn't throw us terribly off course. Oh god, what? Stop, stop, stop. Do we have an intercept? I think we do. Hang on. We have an intercept. It's okay, everyone. Alright, very nice. We do have an intercept, so let's go on ahead and go into the sphere of influence of Eve. I have no idea. Maybe maybe we'll even have enough to where we can check out Gilly. Maybe in, an, in the next episode. I... I don't really know. We have plenty of fuel left. Tons of fuel, in fact. Over a thousand oxidizer. Whew. Oh, well. And... Contact. No, not, not contact. Come on. A little bit further. A little bit further. All right. We are now... Very nice. Let's see, can we see Eve from here? Eve. There's Eve. 
So for those of you who don't know anything about EVE, EVE is a planet with very strong gravity, about the same as Kerbin's if I remember correctly. It has a thicker atmosphere than Kerbin's, so parachutes are really awesome for landing there. We won't be landing today, but perhaps another day. And it also has a moon. It has Gilly, a moon, but Gilly is not a normal moon. It formed as the result of accretion around the planet or something like that. And how... Uh, blah, blah. On the other hand, it is a captured object. We believe it to be an asteroid due to its small size and its appearance. It appears to be more of an asteroid. Yeah, there's Eve and there's, there's Gilly. Nice. All right, so may as well... You know what? Let's, let's not do this. I, I don't care. Yeah. All right, let's just go to the P.E., and start retro burning. Oh, well, that that was very, very good. Spot on, spot on. Now we just have to get to retro. There we go. It's sticking there quite nicely. Okay, so yes, we've made it to 2,000 subscribers. That's... That's totally awesome. I honestly, when I started this two or three months ago, like I had absolutely no clue that it would actually make it all the way to 2000. I was just joking in that episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs saying that I would do a scary let's play. And now here I am. And I totally have to do it now. And I will. I will, of course. Oh, also, uh, the Terraria giveaway is over. Rambling Dragon got that. Fun times. I, uh, I still haven't signed into Steam today, so maybe maybe I have to sign on and find him, and then we shall work that out. Uh, uh, trying to control my spaceship while talking is difficult. In other news, I actually met some of you guys. I met some of my subscribers by going over to the, the Super Robo Play Minecraft server, and you guys were online, and you were like, Oh my gosh, it's really him, it's really him! Let's see, I, I remember Connor, and I remember Sky. Who else? Yeah, there there were some people there, and you guys are awesome and stuff, building me a mansion, thank you for that, but uh, it's not really necessary, you know? Like, how 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 to put this in a in a loving way? I I appreciate the mansions, but in case you didn't look at my uh, my house, my house is like, really simple. Incredibly simple, absurdly simple. I, I enjoy simple houses in Minecraft, and also, you know, as much as I love that you guys want to spend hours of time making me houses and stuff and, and like, waiting on a server, waiting for hours for me to, like, show up. I, I'm not special, you know? I'm not, like... I don't know, it's not like I'm the president of the United States or PewDiePie or someone who's, like, actually famous on YouTube. I'm just, just a guy. I should make that into my motto. I'm just a guy, you know? Just a guy who likes space. Just a space-loving guy. There we go. We have officially created a terrible looking orbit around Eve. Wonderful. And I think we'll go ahead and make this smaller. Oh, this this is not good at all. We need to put that down to normal speed. There we go. This is much more controllable. All right, so what, what do we want to get this down to? I'm completely okay with having a strange orbit. I, I don't need an equatorial orbit for this. Dang, I, I did not look up where Eve's atmosphere starts. So let's just go to like 150. How about that? 150 kilometers. Because I, I really don't want to dip into the atmosphere. That would not be good whatsoever. Oh, and we're switching. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think 150 kilometers should be more than fine, and that's that's close enough to be able to see what Eve looks like close up. It's always a fun time. Oh, hello, Eve! Actually, we can see you now. As for why Eve is purple, um, pretty sure no one really knows. I've heard some hypotheses online that perhaps Eve is covered in, like, iodine or something like that, and I don't know about you guys, but, like, all the times I've seen iodine, it's always sort of a, a disgusting gray-brown color. 
It, it never really looks purple to me. And although I know that iodine is often referred to as purple, it, it just it doesn't look purple to me. I have, I have no idea what sort of mineral or what sort of gas or whatever could be in EVE. But according to the flowchart, the new fuel resource gathering chart that's going around, apparently you can get like nuclear fuel from the oceans and atmosphere of EVE. EVE has unique oceans full of a special resource, but uh, that other oceans do not have, such as Kerbin. But I... I don't know. Like, EVE, it's, it's a strange place, and if there's nuclear stuff in the water, then I really don't want to be a part of it. I, I don't want to go swimming there. 100 and... Oh, 111. Okay, that, that was a little bit too far. I really hope the atmosphere is lower than that. Oh, goodness. Let's let's see if this is arrow breaking. This could... Oh, crap. Thank you. Hello, Eve. You're a beautiful looking planet. Wow, there's an aurora. Nice, look at that. It doesn't look like I'm in the atmosphere. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. What is this? 111. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be falling into the atmosphere anytime soon. But let's go ahead and start spinning this around so that we can do our secondary burn. To lower our AP, and then once we get that finished, we'll fly around to a pretty side of Eve. We'll detach and... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Come back. There we go. Yeah. That's nice. You just, you just stay there, okay? We'll get this down, we'll go around to a sunny side of EVE, we'll check it out, we'll decouple, we'll extend our our solar panels, and open our communitron, whatever that thing is. It'll be a good time. For those of you who are wondering, if I, I don't know if, I can't remember if I explained this before, but I no longer have debris in my game. I changed the settings to where there is zero debris, because although... I want it to be realistic and have like cool looking debris around and stuff and realize that dropping off a bunch of crap in space is generally a bad idea and not good for the sustainability of your space program. And it generally makes it like really hard to fly through space if there's a bunch of s dead satellites and stuff out there. Um, I personally do not want to have my screen cluttered with debris and it's really difficult for me to click on things when there's so much of it. So. I, I don't want any part of that. None whatsoever. Oh, that's not good at all. We're, we're going to be dipping down into the atmosphere if we do that. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and fly all the way around. Oh, this, this is going to be taking longer than I thought it would. Am I in the atmosphere now? Apparently not. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our burn again. Because accidentally lowering our PE is not what we want to be doing. It looks like we're doing that anyway, but much slower this time. That's good. Oh. No, 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 no. No, keep that, keep that steady. Please and thank you. Oh, you can, you can even make it go up a little bit. I'm cool with that. Ah, oh, jeez, you're taking, taking long enough, don't you think? AP? It's funny, this, this probe is completely capable of leaving the Kerbal solar system, as, as you noticed. In fact, we're going to check on Odyssey before we get out of here. But it may have just enough fuel to make this nice little orbit around EVE. Well, at least we're under a thousand kilometers now.
going even further. Oh, sigh. I don't want to go into the atmosphere. <laughs> All right, so that's that's going to have to be enough for now because I really don't want to fall into the atmosphere. Let's go ahead and come around. Ah, that... I really wish that the slowdown was instantaneous. I don't know if you guys, if you guys have noticed, but when you click... The button to make it stop, it doesn't actually stop. It keeps going for a bit. And... Alright, that's, that's close enough. Ah, uh, the land and seas of Eve. Hello. Okay, let's go ahead and drop off our rocket. Decouple. Boom. Uh, uh. Extend the panels. Solar panels for the win. And the communitron. Boop. Nice. I wonder if that's going to, to deorbit now. That would be pretty cool. Sun and Eve. Nice. So we've officially put something in Eve orbit. We have not put something in orbit around Gilly yet. We're going to zoom in so you guys can see Gilly. See, it's basically just an asteroid. It Gilly, in fact, has the lowest gravity in the entire game because it's the smallest mass. And I'm very interested with landing on it, especially with Kerbals, because when you jump, you jump over a kilometer. Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. So we're just going to leave our orbiter there, and oh, I hope that doesn't go into the atmosphere. It's a pretty ugly orbit, but oh well. Let's zoom out for a bit and say hello to Odyssey 1. Where is it? There it is. As you can see, it's now left beyond the orbits of Jewel and Elu. Which is pretty impressive that it's made it that far. It's it's quite a ways from exiting our Kerbal solar system completely, and I've used a lot of time acceleration. Let's see. Let's check this thing out. What is the time? 296 days? So assuming that Kerbin has a 365 day year like we do here on Earth, it still hasn't even been out there for a year yet. And as it goes out, I believe these panels are going to get yeah, smaller and smaller power. Oh well, I'm okay with that. Goodbye, Odyssey. We shall see you another day. Where where am I? What the? Hello? I can't zoom out anymore. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And... Back to the EVE Orbiter. Very nice. So I think that's about it for today's episode. I'm going to leave you here with this picture of the EVE Orbiter. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Look forward to the next episodes where we send manned missions to EVE and Gilly. Thank you for watching. I'm Magnius, and I will see you next time.